Casey Grays, are you here? We want to have our young people uh, represented. Give a round of applause to SGA president, a future, maybe a future president of the United States. Give her a hand from BTW. Good afternoon, my name is Casey Graves and I am the Student Government Association President at Booker T. Washington High School. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and student body, I bring you greetings. Today is a wonderful day on which we're celebrating a magnificent man. A man who paved the way for us, for our dreams to become reality. A man who stood up for what he believed. A man who fought with his words and not with his fists. A man who endured many consequences for the boys and girls of today to be treated fairly and equally. A man who believed in our people even when we were unable to believe in ourselves. This man is, a, is the legendary Martin Luther King Jr. I feel that it is our responsibility to live up to his dreams and embrace it with open arms. It is our duty to be all we can be despite the many obstacles that may arise. Let's all put forth an effort and carry on the dream that Dr. Martin Luther King envisioned. After all, it is our duty. Um, I'm gonna attempt to sing this song. Um, I want you to walk with me because with Dr. Martin Luther King and everybody who was in, working active in the civil rights, the only way we got through it was with Jesus. <laughs> I want Jesus to walk with me. representing the SGA from Tuskegee University. Give him a hand. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eric Harris. I serve as the Student Government Association Judicial Advisor at Tuskegee University. Uh, it is my pleasure to bring very brief greetings to you all. Uh, I'm sure you all know this. I'm, I'm a... Uh, um, I myself, I'm a, uh, a nice uh, Baptist person from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I attend Morningstar Baptist Church. And you know, I always remember my pastor talking about the word faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. It was based on that scripture, it was based on that word faith, that Dr. King was that one voice at one time to stand up and make a difference. So I'm going to challenge you all right now. First, I'm going to say faith. I want you to say faith back. Faith. 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 Faith is what we can do here in Tuskegee to go towards a better day, to expand to new horizons. We've already expanded to new horizons right now 
uh, with the Washington uh, complex as being built right now. And we're going to continue to expand on that faith. 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 And we'll go there. Yeah. Thank you all. I'm Chief Lester Patrick, and I have the honor of serving as your chief of police. I stand today to bring greetings on behalf of all the hardworking men and women of the Tuskegee Police Department, of your Tuskegee Police yes, Department. Sir. As I stood back and I watched the program proceed today, and I, I couldn't help but think back to my youth right. here in Tuskegee in this community, and I do vividly remember a lot of events, and one of those being the what I was doing as a 13-year-old in 1968 when it was announced to us at Tuskegee Institute High School that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had been assassinated. That is very vivid in my memory. And I am, am thankful for Dr. King for the cause that he led and for lying down his life so that I may live as a first class citizen. Amen. And I will never forget the hard work that he did. And I think one of the best birthday gifts that we could give to Dr. King would be to continue to fight Let for it. Be mindful to be diligent, grateful, and faithful to further his cause. Again, I say I bring you greetings on behalf of the Tuskegee Police Department, and I ask for your support as 2008, your Tuskegee Police Department will be bringing forth several initiatives aimed at reducing crime and the fear of crime in your community. And I urge and implore each of you to join forces behind us as we fight to make our community better. Your police department can only be as strong as the citizens which it serves. Again.